Hey, welcome back guitar players and traders. It's John here from Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. I got Zach behind the camera, and once again, we have the always great Jake from White Shag Guitars. What's Hello. up, Jake? I'm not, how are y'all? It is always a good sign when we get a message or a call from Jake saying, I've got something you have to document. And uh, in the case of what you brought, to, I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's in his case. I told him, don't show it to me. I don't want to see it until you flip those latches. We're going to let him do the honors. At the top, do us a favor. This is Play and Trade Guitars. Subscribe to this channel. We're the fastest growing new guitar channel. You can check out our Gibson Factory Tour Series. You can subscribe for a chance to win a Gibson Custom Shop R7 Les Paul and a beautiful candy apple green top. We call it the green top. And uh, make sure you follow what we're doing on this channel. A lot of exciting giveaways, guitar videos, and other news coming at you. And Jake is one of our uh, main men here bringing us the best <laughs> stuff. And uh, check out whiteshagguitars.com while you're at it. All links in the description. Thank you. Without further ado, we're going to let Jake do the honors of flipping these latches. He's going to give us a story on this incredible Gibson guitar. Wait, wait till you see this. I'm going to get out of the way and let him do his thing. Cool. Yeah, so Billy Gibbons. That's who we're talking about today. All right, I'm just going to cover it to the chase. We're talking about Billy Gibbons. If you know Billy Gibbons, you know that he plays some really bizarre, wild guitars um, that are never available to the public. Um, except for some Les Pauls. There were some Les Pauls with some pinstripes um, that were really cool, um, but there was nothing really striking, nothing crazy different about them. This, however, is unbelievably cool. I can't wait to see it. This is an SG. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, this is an SG. With a flying V headstock. With a flying V headstock. It's Look insane. At Look at so, that curve on the top. Look at that finish. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a contoured top. So you can kind of see here. Let me take it out. We're going to be very careful with it. And it's got the 61 style uh, side. Um, yep, and side no arm. pickup selector. So it's kind of like the uh, explorer style. What do they call this color? It's kind of like a copper. So I think it's antique gold and then royal blue. And then Texas. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. So, story goes with these. In uh, the early 2000s, um, Billy Gibbons partnered with Gibson and Neiman Marcus, of all places, a uh, department store, to make a run of these. And they were $30,000. And you bought that guitar, and you had the opportunity to then pick it up at a ZZ Top show, and Billy Gibbons would personally hand this guitar to you. <laughs> Now, hold on. Uh, How does Neiman Marcus enter the picture? It was like this. I mean, there's some archive link that I found. It was some sort of auction um, of this and then like a Lyle Lovett guitar and a couple other crazy artists. And how uh, many of these exist? I think 30. Wow. 30 for 30,000. And um, so that's the story with those. Um, those were scooped up really quickly. There's a lot of guys out there with a lot of money who bought them all and they're gone. And then the story goes with these, supposedly um, per Rumble Seat Music, um, who had another one of these listed, five were made for custom shop employees. This is one of those five. So of the 30, there's, this is one of there's five? There's 35 total, supposedly. 30 were sold to the public. This is one of five that were sold wow. to custom shop employees or given away. I don't know that for certain. It doesn't get more exclusive than this then, huh? Yeah, so this is one of five. It doesn't have the Billy Gibbons moniker. So there's nothing that says Billy Gibbons on it, but it's a Texas backplate. It's a Texas backplate. Yeah, it, it's bona fide Billy Gibbons. Um, you know, and it's just so cool. Like just seeing the the flying V headstock on an SG is one thing, but it's also just a damn cool guitar. I mean, you just it's it's wild. You just feel it. It's just different. This is, you know, I've. I've seen pictures, but to see this contoured top carve in person is really striking. It's got the bling to it, huh? I love the gold hardware. I love the gold Gibson up there. Yeah. And yeah, you can see it's like the Karina SG, or I'm sorry, Karina Flying V and uh, Explorer Gibson logo. So it's yeah. the same logo that they would use on like the vintage smaller amps. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. How's she sound? They're custom buckers. That's also what's unique about this too, is um, the ones that were put out by Neiman Marcus in the listing that I was reading, it had pearly gates, which mm -hmm. great set of pickups, but when you're spending 30 grand on a guitar, it, that's like a mass produced pickup. So it's kind of like, all right, interesting. Uh, these are custom buckers. So those are pickups you can't buy. You know, it's in your uh, you know, R7 as well too. It's yeah. just, they're great. 
Um, so it sounds awesome. It's very, I've, I played it for about a minute, and then here we are filming. You'll get to play it for two minutes. <laughs> okay. um, oh, it's light, too. I want an SG that's this light. This yeah, is... I think it's like 6.2 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, I'm going to use my two minutes that have been allotted and make some, uh, some noise if, you that's, may. if that's possible. You may. Yeah, so I, it's like an explorer. Okay. Like a vintage, I, I don't know exactly how it works, but you can figure it out. Two minutes. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> Is it gonna make it? I dig it. I dig it. You like it? Yeah, I really do. You know what I just noticed? It has dots. A guitar this expensive shouldn't it have inlays, you know, better inlays. But it's, you know, it's kind of. You know what though? I mean, there's so much. There's so much to look at. Yeah. I almost like the simplicity of just the dots. That's true. Yeah. Because, especially, you know, you have a lot of geometry going on here in curves mm -hmm. and to me it makes it makes some sense to um put some dots and just yeah. keep it simple I, one more thing i have to try really fast i promise sure it's you just gotta play little... some 12 bars dude <laughs> 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 yeah you do want to try this little guy <laughs> These things always freak my brain out. Ah, that's enough now. I can't get used to this side thing, but... There's a reason they only made them one year. Uh, 
Back into the vault it goes, but Jake, man, thank you for letting us get our hands on this and tell us the story. Yeah. And uh, My what pleasure. a guitar for your collection. Thank you. One of five employee, employee run, Billy Gibbons. Man, SG Contour, is that what they ended up calling it? That, it's, yeah, that's what it says on the COA. S SG Standard Contour. But we'll just go with Billy Gibbons. Flying V monstrosity SG. Well, now uh, that settles a question we had a few months ago. Is there has there ever been a standard that has dot inlays? And the answer ah, is there There's is at least one standard that has there dot is. inlays. There you go. Unbelievable guitar, Jake. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. Um, here, I'll hand it back to you. And why don't you tell the people where to check you out? Check me out on whiteshagguitars.com. You can follow me on Facebook. Uh, find me on Reverb. Send me a message chat about guitars we can talk about cars i like coffee i like burgers <laughs> that's it all right well we've given jake his own playlist so you'll see a lot more <laughs> from uh, jake of white shag guitars on playing tray guitars he's a partner of ours now and uh, he always brings the best stuff remember to subscribe to playing tray guitars we are giving away a gibson custom shop r7 les paul greeny baby the green top maybe if they hit a million subscribers though <laughs> right